Hi everyone, I'm going to teach you how to do data scraping from different websites using Microsoft Excel. So we will be writing VBA or you can say Excel macros to extract data from websites. So to learn this concept, first understand that scraping is illegal. So you do it at your own. So let's open VBA editor by Alt plus F11 and then go to tools, references and here you need to find the two most important libraries that we are going to use for data scraping from websites. So if you scroll down here and go to Microsoft, so first one is Microsoft HTML object library and second one is Microsoft internet controls. So in all our tutorials, we are going to use these two libraries and various functions of these. So once you import the libraries, we go to this area and then insert a module. So this is a space where we are going to write our code. So first of all, create a sub procedure whose name is test. The syntax is sub test and then brackets and then end sub. Now we need to work with the browser and the document. So first of all, we declare a variable whose name is IE as Internet Explorer. Now this Internet Explorer was part of the library that we have imported. Similarly, uh, from the second library, we create a uh, declare a object uh, named as HT and its type is HTML document. Don't worry if you don't understand the meaning of the two lines that we have typed so far. Just make sure that uh, when I typed Internet Explorer or HTML document, I see here in the drop down list. But when I delete these two lines and I remove the libraries by going to tools, references and unchecking these two options and then clicking on OK. So these libraries are now not part of uh, the code. So when I try to find Internet Explorer or HTML document, it should not give us a suggestion that this is present. So make sure that you have the libraries imported before you write the code. Otherwise you will see errors in the code. So let's move on now. I rename the sub procedure name as web scraping from test to make it more relevant. And I go back to references and again find the two libraries which we have imported earlier. Microsoft HTML object library and Microsoft internet controls. Now again I do the same steps dim ie as internet explorer now ie is an object of internet explorer that i have declared here ht is a object of type html document so that too i declare here and i can use any name it is not mandatory to use ie you can use abc and it is a good practice to put the comments here on the top that in this step we have done declaration so after declaration, the next step is initialization. Now the objects that you have declared, you are going to initialize them. So to initialize, we have a keyword named as set and we use another keyword named as new. So set IE equal new Internet Explorer. The object IE is initialized as type Internet Explorer. So IE dot, I can see a list of functions now, uh, which I can perform on Internet Explorer. You can see we have a function named as navigate. So our task was to launch the browser and open a URL. So I can type the IE dot navigate and you see here the options or the arguments which we need to pass in this function. All the arguments which are in square brackets are optional. URL is a mandatory argument. So I put a google.com URL here in double quotes because it's a string so that's how we do did initialization now if I run the code it will create an instance of Internet Explorer and it will launch google.com but we cannot see it reason is uh, the browser is not visible it runs the process in the background you can check in task manager processes So you need to set one property here to make these browsers visible ie dot visible equal true by default it is false. So now you run it again and you will see Internet Explorer 
which opens google.com so that's what we have done so far we have opened a browser and we have launched a url google.com now you try this part yourself and see if it opens your own url or not so if it works for you we can continue with the next session on how to access different elements on this url stay tuned to extreme automation to learn more about this subject and we also have a course on udemy which gives you step by step instructions also which will guide you how to create this whole scraping application which you can use in a very promising way